You didn't like my party dress, did you? Yes, I did. You're dumping me for a PA with better colour coordination, aren't you? No, no. Well, you try looking like a princess on my salary. <laughs> We're not good at compliments in this country, are we? Anthony? Reggie? Steve? <sighs> Quite. Mm. I just want to say how much I admire your enthusiasm and sort of uh, innocence. In a cynical world, I find it strangely um, heartwarming. It's all you do, isn't it? Take the piss. Bastard. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie. You didn't mean it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Pierre Luigi. Very powerful. And massively now. <laughs> so, when I was headhunted last year, lured away from the animal foodstuff sector uh, to helm Groom Tech. <laughs> One of the uh, first members of staff I talked to was Reggie Perrin. <laughs> he knows everything about the disposable razor. And then some. <laughs> and then some more after that. <laughs> and then even more! <laughs> Reggie Perrin! Uh, <clears throat> men can be beautiful too. See, our industry works on the assumption that we aren't beautiful in the first place. We have a growth industry, and we're told that we need a growth industry, even though it will destroy the world. More, more, more. Bigger lorries driving down, wider motorways carrying an ever-increasing amounts of perfumes and aftershaves so that we increasingly believe that we must have really stunk before we used it. So we don't make people feel good about themselves at all. And in order to sell more, we have to have more and more choice. I haven't bought a coffee in 15 years because I can't decide which kind to have. <laughs> and there's more rubbish everywhere. There's more car parks so that tourists can park their cars to visit attractions that have been pulled down to make more car parks so that they can park their cars! Stop talking! No! <laughs> this is my turn! What have I done with my life? I've sold razors so that people can shave the stubble off their faces. And what happens? Next day it all grows back again! So I've wasted my life! What, what's it going to say on my gravestone? Here lies Reginald Perrin. He didn't know the names of the flowers or the trees, but he knew the eyebrow pencil figures for Schleswig Holstein. <sighs> Is there a god? I don't know. But at least I know that I don't know, and that's the point! I believe in not believing! How many wars would have been fought if anybody believed in anything? I must just apologise. World peace achieved! And talking about nuns, which I wasn't, how many nuns would there be if we all did what the nuns did and renounced sex? None at all! No nuns! That's what they don't get! I've got so much to tell you about life! <clears throat> there we are, there we are. Goodness me, goodness me. <laughs> right, who's uh, someone next? Who's next?
thermal commuting. I made this speech today. It was so important. I had so many important things to say, to tell people. I was nervous, I had too much to drink. I cocked up my one big chance! Goodbye, old Reggie. Hello, new Reggie. Oh, why not just end it all? Prove once and for all that I'm not a fraud. Just walk out to sea with my hands raised above my head till finally only two fingers are visible. A last defiant gesture to a hostile world. show tonight when my guests will be singing sensations the priests from the killers brandon flowers and national treasure joanna lumley that's friday night with jonathan ross after the news at 10 35.